Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So for today's makeup look, I did this really simple, easy makeup look. This makeup look is so wearable. You can wear it to parties, you can even recreate this look for Eve, and it's just the perfect makeup look. Today I was actually getting ready for an iftar party, so I thought of doing filming this look basically while doing my makeup, but you know what, I'm so happy with my decision because I love the way it turned out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and then dig right into the makeup so first thing first I always like to moisturize my face for that I've used my Dove moisturizer and this is the um, beauty cream by Dove it comes in a pink container all the product details will be listed down below on the description box for you guys to have a look for my foundation today I've used my NYX foundation can stop won't stop foundation in shade camel this is one of my favorite foundations, my current favorite foundation to be honest because it's completely matte. At the same time, it does not um, make it too patchy or dry around my dry areas. It keeps the skin very hydrating. At the same time, it dries matte which is perfect for me. Especially because summertime is right around the corner. It's pretty much here but in Canada, summer is, is, isn't really like summer. But anyways, it still does the job pretty amazing. Now for my uh, highlighter today, the cream highlighter, I've used NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Highlighter and this is in the shade beige and as you, as you can see it has a little bit of that yellow tone to it which is perfect because it helps highlight my highlighted zones at the same time it covers up any dark circles because it has that yellowish undertone to it and it helps brighten up my under eyes and around the mouth area where I mostly have my hyperpigmented areas now I've used the same brush to blend all of that into my skin. Once that's done, I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder. It's really not translucent, I feel like there is a hint of color to it, but it's in the shade Silky Beige, which is number 005. And the brush that I'm using, it's by Morphe, and it's in number R10. This is actually a very favorite brush of mine. Um, currently, I've been obsessed with this brush because it helps blend the powder into my face so beautifully. Also, I'm going to be using this brush to contour my face. For my contour, I'm using KISS New York Professional Contouring Kit and the middle shade is the one that I'm using to contour. Now, as you can see, I picked up the color from one side of the brush and I'm using the other side of the brush to blend it out. And I'm going to be doing the same for the other side of my face as well. And I'm also going to be contouring the parameters of my face. But remember, today's look is a very natural makeup look. At least that's what it's aimed to create. So I don't want to contour too harsh. I want to keep it very soft. So you want to be very soft and light-handed while applying contour around your face, around the nose, and all the parameters. For my blush, I'm using Dolce Pink by Milani Cosmetics. As you guys probably know, Milani Cosmetics blushes are one of my most favorite. I have a ton of MAC found, um, powder blush and also Inglot, but for some reason I am super addicted to Benefit and Milani Cosmetics only when it comes to their blushes. I'm obsessed with them. Now for my highlighter, I'm using Wet n Wild Highlighter. And this is in the shade, it doesn't really say the shade here, but I'll try to find out from the online and see if there is a shade to it. But it has a little bit of pink hue to it, so I'm not too sure, sorry about that guys, but I'll link it down below in the description box so you guys can have a look. Now for my eyebrows, I'm using NYX Brow Pencil, this is their Micro Brow Pencil and it is in the shade Brunette. As you guys already know, I always like to fill in these sparse areas and then use the spoolie end to brush out my brows. Also, for today's makeup look, I try to keep uh, everything to drugstore brand so I tried mostly to use drugstore as much as possible I literally pulled out all the drugstore items from my drawers but yeah hope you guys will enjoy this makeup tutorial also 
For my brow mascara, I've used my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Boost and Set Brow Mascara. This is a beautiful, I love the brush. As you can see, the brush was very tiny. For my eyeshadow, I'm using my favorite new eyeshadow palette, which is by Focalore. Thanks to this company for sending me their PR package. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I've been obsessed over this palette, and I've been meaning to do the, a video tutorial with their palette. This was my first opportunity I could get, so I was like, yeah, I'm definitely using this palette. So there's another bridal look that's going to come up very soon with the same palette, and you will see how much pigmented that palette is. There are a couple of bridal looks that are coming up with different models and different faces that I've worked on so you will see them very soon. And if you can see it's very pigmented and I like to sometimes use my fingertips to apply especially when it's a matte shadow like this one is a complete matte eyeshadow that I'm applying on my lid. The reason why I applied a matte eyeshadow because I wanted to keep it look like I wanted to make it look more natural so I wanted to apply it like more matte colors. Now I've used this light shimmery color called Pixie Dust on my inner corners and literally for the entire like eyeshadow I've just used one brush that is the Morphe R39. Now for my mascara I just couldn't find any drugstore mascara so I just used my Long 4 Mascara by Ingla which is perfect, which is one of my favorites, so it's okay. But yeah, you can definitely use any other drugstore brand mascara you like of your choice. Go for it. Now for my eyeliner, I've used my Wet n Wild eyeliner. This is their Mega Liner in shade Black. And I love the tip of this brush. It is so pretty. And you can draw your line as thin as possible with this brush. So for my lashes, I've used Kiss Product Lashes and this is in number 11. And it looks very nice and natural. This is one of my most favorite lashes. It's very beautiful. And it has such a thin band that it sits on top of your eyelashes very naturally without bother bothering your eyes. Now for my liquid lipstick, I've used Focalure's liquid lipstick. The first one that I'm using, it's in number 06. It's called Rose Taupe. And the next color that I'm going to be using on the middle part of my lips um, that is going to be in 07 called Chestnut. Now the reason why I like to always kind of mix between dark and lighter to make my lips look more poutier and more like, you know, voluptuous and beautiful. I don't know, I just like the look of having a fuller lips. I think it looks very beautiful. And I always like to use my fingertip to kind of blend the edges. Now once that's done, I'm going to set the face with Maybelline Makeup Setting Spray and that's it guys. This basically sums up the entire look for today. I'm going to quickly brush my hair. I like a little bit of volume on the top so I always like to brush my hair on both ends. And I've already straightened my hair so I didn't want to do much but I wanted to give it a little bit of volume at the crown area so I'm just going to back comb a little bit on that crown area and then I'm going to softly you know, start combing it out and making it look more neater and nicer. Once it's done guys, so this is how the end look turned out like. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. It is such an easy tutorial. If you guys happen to recreate this look, please tag me at Makeup by Mary. And if you guys haven't been following me on Instagram, please, please, please do so. Because if I'm not on YouTube 24-7, you will see me on Instagram 24-7. So you always have me always by your side, you know, technically. And I want you guys to follow me over there because most of my updates do come on Instagram more than YouTube. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, guys, and happy Ramadan, happy, you know, advanced Eid Mubarak, and also 
please do not like uh, please do not forget to comment subscribe and like my video and yeah that's it guys thank you so much for watching hope to see you next time on my next video take care bye bye